then in the front here is going to be kind of the same in the foreground down here, but because he's not really uh, painted yet, we don't really need to paint that all the way. I'm just trying to paint around the bison so that when we fill him in, it will kind of uh, stand out a little more and we'll have nice edges. So now I'm going to go in with the bison and do some colors that the bison has. So first I'm going to start with some black so we can do his head because they kind of have black hair on their head and legs. So I have a little black paint here. I'm going to take a little smaller paintbrush. And then we're going to color this in kind of the same. So I'm going to color in there his hair on his head. And then I'm going to paint the horns black because they have pretty black horns. And then I'm going to darken some parts so where the sun isn't shining, it's a little darker. So like the sides of his nose, under his chin, his little beard, ears again. And then I'm going to show where his eyes are. So I'm going to kind of draw those in there. And then his nose, so I'm going to paint around his nose, it's pretty dark where the hair kind of comes up around it. And then I'm going to draw his nose, so there's kind of like a U shape in there. And then kind of a line around his nostrils. And then on top, a little darker. And then I'm going to kind of dot in black on top of his head so it looks kind of fluffy. And on top of his nose. And then his leg. A lot of black hairs. And then we're going to fill in his back, his hump. How's brown? And his body is brown. And then you just kind of color it in, just like a coloring book, wherever there aren't colors. You don't want to see white from the canvas. So 
So you want to co cover the whole thing in colors. And then highlights are important where it's bright colors, white and yellow. I'm going to put some white and yellow on my palette. And then we're gonna kind of make sure it's a little dry so I don't blend my white in too much with the yellows and browns. I'm gonna start with the yellow, kind of dot some yellows on top of his back where the sunshine is going to hit. It's gonna be a nice bright yellow. But again, yours can be whatever color you want it to be. This is just what I'm doing. One of my bison paintings, one of those ones behind this one here, take about 40 hours to paint though. So we're not going <laughs> to paint for that long. So I'm not going to show you everything I do just because that would take a few days. But this is how I start then. This is called color blocking, and it's where you put all of your colors on, kind of the background colors that it's going to be. So now I'm going to take my white. I'm going to add white highlights to the edge of his back, make it stand out a little bit. And then I'm going to add some white to his horns where the sun is going to hit them. And then I'm going to add some more white, kind of to the dotted in the top of his nose where the sun hits, top of his head. And then to his little hairs on top of his head a little bit. top of his nose because his nose is wet so it's going to be really shiny. It's going to have a lot of white on there. And then now but this is kind of blocked in and you can just keep painting on it and keep adding more colors and things. I'm going to paint on my foreground. It's down here. This is the foreground. A little bit with some brown here just to make the dirt continue. And 
then where the my sage brushes are going to be, they're kind of dark underneath. So I'm going to use kind of a black gray color that I have here and just kind of sketch where they're going to be. And they're just little, little bushes. And a lot of times you don't see the buffalo's feet when he's standing out on the prairie because there's so many grasses and sage brushes. So you can kind of cover up his feet a little bit. And then when the sage brushes are farther away, you draw lots of little dots. And I'm going to add some highlights to the top of my sage brushes with lighter colors. And that's about it. 